Good game. The bigger always win. <laughs> Uh, that's actually true. Uh, that's actually not true, guys. Um, size does not matter. Okay, size doesn't matter. I mean, it does, right? They. Hello, everyone. I'm Genie, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a kind of meta deck. It's kind of right. Uh, who am I fooling? It's actually a, me a meta deck, but I decided to play Hecarim instead of playing um, Sejuani. Why, you may ask? Um, because I want to. <laughs> but Sejuani is actually a very good pick as well. Um, I like Hecarim, to be honest with you, because, you know, he gets the, um, you know, Spectral Rider, so it's two more units every time that I attack with Hecarim, but Sejuani, I think it's more of a utility drop, right? She's actually very solid, but Hecarim can win you games on his own, as you guys are going to see on the video. And uh, he works actually phenomenally. He works very, very well. So I, I actually am glad with this list. I was thinking about dropping a, you know, Everest and Sentry on the deck. Maybe it's a good idea, but I don't know what would I take away, honestly. Uh, maybe uh, one copy of Neverglade, you know, something like that. One copy of this, one copy of that to, uh, you know, add Everest and Sentry. But I'm, overall, I'm actually pretty good with a deck. It actually performs quite nicely. It's quite comfortable to play. It's actually quite intuitive as well. So I guess you guys are going to like it. We have some, you know, very... You have lots of different win conditions. You can win with Callista if, you know, you get the balls start rolling very fast. You can win early on with um, Ravenous Butcher, Curse Keeper, and Blighter Caretaker. Because you know the combo. Actually bonkers. You can win as well with Hecarim, right? As you guys are going to see on the video. And you can win with Neverglade Collector. You can win with They Who Endure and Atrocity. You can win with Atrocity and something else as you will, you will see on the video as well. So, actually pretty fun deck. I do recommend you playing it. Um, it's actually, it feels pretty good to play it. So that's it, comrades. Subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. And uh, if you want to see more of myself, this, you know, genuine creature, genuine, gen English. Comment with your thoughts as well on the deck. Uh, I would like to see what you have to say about it. It's they who endure, I know, but not everyone is playing it. So, some people are, but... It's not that prevalent as it was on the past, so it's actually a fun deck to play. Like the video if you did like the video as well, that's one thing that I'm trying to remember to say and now I did. Oh, and by the way, we have a Discord channel, a lot of funny people there, a lot of interactive people there, a lot of friendly people there. You're friendly, you wanna join, you might. Link in the description. You're friendly, you don't wanna join, you call it, but I'm warning you. You know, it's friendly there, so you're you're gonna be at home, eh? So that's it, fellas. See ya. Okay, so a mirror match from the get-go. Yay! Freaking interesting. Let's see who it's better, though. I guess Sejuani is slightly better than Hakarim, but we can only hope. I guess I'm gonna keep this hand, actually. I mean, Atrocity is a little bit early, not gonna lie to ya. Nice. Nice, that's a very good comp. Okay. No, that's a little bit ridiculous. Come on. I guess I'm playing this. I'm not gonna be attacking regardless. Not blocking, I mean. Okay. There's actually no reason for me to block this one. I mean, he's gonna be generating a body and I'm not. Oh boy. I'm passing. Uh, I'll try to level up Callista with Haunted Relics. That's, <laughs> That's a little bit nasty. The nastiness on that guy is a little bit high. But I think it's worth it. Uh, that's a little bit disgusting now. Come on. Come on. But I can still block this guy next turn. So I'm not really worried about that too much. All right, all right, all right. All fine and dandy. Gonna be taking two, but overall, pretty good spot. Still a pretty good spot. 
Is there anything he can do to kill me here? Um, to kill my Callista? I guess there isn't because none of his units died. So even if he has um, Callista Black Spear, he doesn't really have anything to do about it. So actually, I think I'm fine. Right here. Right? Yeah, don't mind that. Don't mind that. Okay, so you're drawing. Yay! Amazing! Ah, my nose. Damn. Okay, so there's the Bark Beast. So I'm thinking about playing my Bark Beast and killing it. Because then, nah, it's not worth it. Yeah. But then again, my main objective is to buff up they who endure, right? So maybe killing his things is actually the best the best thing I can do. You know, because I'm gonna be sacrificing my stuffs in the in the end, I'm still gonna be having ways to do stuff. So what is the only way I actually screw myself up? Is if he got withering well, then I'm actually a little bit screwed. But overall I think I'm fine. Because I can pull this guy um, right here, and this guy will get this one. So, actually in a pretty decent spot, fellas. But, I guess I need to do this first, right? So that I guarantee that this guy is going to die first. Then this is good enough, I guess. Alright, so I'm going to be getting a buffed up Bark Beast, hitting for three. It's gonna be blocking that, obviously. Withering Whale. Is that it? Kinda nasty if it is. Glimpse. Okay. I don't really mind that all that much. I don't really mind that all that much, but if you were going for a Glimpse there, um, I think that it would make sense to block the Blighted Caretaker. Because I would be left out with no blockers. Right? So, actually, it makes sense that he would have uh, blocked this with a spider so he would open my board a little bit better for a more powerful attack this turn, right? But considering that he hasn't done that, I'm not gonna complain because it's good for me. <laughs> right? Now, are you gonna attack? Are you manly enough? He's manly enough, I guess, guys. He has a manliness in him. Okay. Gonna be pulling one of them. I'm gonna be not be able to block there. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking quite a bit of damage here, I guess. Quite a bit. Alright, if he's smart, he's gonna be pulling this one instead of Callista. He's not smart. Because I would be forced to block the Bark Beast. I mean... And I would be taking more. I would be taking more damage with Callista instead of only two, right? So, all right. So Callista is leveling up even if I don't block there. So this block needs to happen. It needs to happen. Okay. Alrighty, fellas. Alrighty. I can't really go for Callista Black Spear here. Like, there's nothing I can kill with it, so I'm gonna go for Warden Spray, then Blighted Caretaker, being pulling my the, his Callista, and killing it with Fury of the North, or maybe with Callista Black Spear, right? Actually, I need to kill that thing more importantly than killing um, Callista, to be honest with you. Okay. Right, it's actually more important to kill that guy than it is killing Callista, I guess, in my humble opinion. But considering that I'm gonna have the exact mana to go for Fury of the North, I'd rather do this. I'm gonna be doing it like this. He needs to go for blockers, and I would like to know what he's gonna block, how he's gonna do it. Alright, interesting. That's actually pretty good for me. Let's see how this is gonna play out. 
If he gets greedy, okay, he's not gonna get greedy. Alright, so I'm gonna have to kill the Never Glade Collector. I guess. Right? But if I'm killing Neverglade, I guess I'm killing him like this. Rather than using Fury of the North. Because Fury can be useful in other situations, right? I have the perfect blockers for next turn. Like, this Callista is gonna be. Right? It's gonna be blocking his Callista, probably. So I actually have a very decent, solid turn on the next one. If he open attacks, right? If he doesn't open attack, then I'm not really worried about anything not really worried the only sad part though is that my hand is not looking too healthy it's not looking too healthy at all so but my they who endure is actually bigger than his I guess yeah he, it's, it's way bigger and now he's actually screwed because mine is bigger <laughs> Mine is bigger, guys. Mine is bigger, and uh, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about my they who endure, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> I love my life. I, I seriously do. <laughs> uh, so silly. Who would have thought that I'm actually actually smart sometimes? Who would have, who would have thought, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, boy. <laughs> okay, so... Um, his Callista did her job there. She did it. The job that she was supposed to do. I guess I win um, next turn. Unless, unless he got atrocity, then I lose. And there's nothing I can do about it. Does he have it? There lies the question, and I think he does, otherwise he would not be... Um, so you don't have it, interesting. Interesting. I mean, now there's nothing you can do. Even... Even Withering Whale, whatever, it doesn't doesn't help you at all okay good game the bigger always win <laughs> uh, that's actually true uh, that's actually not true guys um size does not matter okay size doesn't matter I mean it does right they who endure <laughs> uh, crap alrighty so we are playing against Sejuani Ash Hmm. Okay. I guess I'm keeping everything besides um I guess it's kinda it's kinda good for me to keep both curse keepers. I have a lot of ways to activate them. It's actually not a misplay, I I guess. Right? Yeah, it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't really feel like it. Um having Hecarim is actually very good yet, um as well. It's actually very decent. All right, I'm gonna be playing Cursed Keeper. He's probably gonna play, gonna be playing something as well. Oh, really? You're not? Okay. Guessing you don't have it. Um, anything? Then sadly, I don't have a proper play as well. I'm gonna be playing Cursed Keeper as well then, since it's looking like he doesn't really have anything. Like if he plays something very threatening here, I can go for a glimpse. That's not really very threatening. I can go for Bark based. Because if I go for Glimpse now, I can. Um... That's actually a very weird play, buddy. Okay. If I went for Bark Beast there and uh, Glimpse, um, it would feel actually very awkward. Because I, I, I know for a fact that he got. If he wants to kill this, I'm fine with it. Um, I, I know for a fact that he got a freeze, right? So. Alright, that's interesting. Having Callista is actually interesting. I wonder if I should be o going for an open attack. Because he's going to be deploying something that is going to block my Callista. Right, he's going to be going for a 5-drop. For, for so maybe going for an open attack here is the best 
But if I go for an open attack, I'm not really going to be getting anything out of it, so... Reckoning. Okay, I guess I don't really care too much about it. I guess I don't really mind that too much. I mean, you're going for Reckoning here, but you're going to... I still have two Cursed Keepers and, uh, you know, it's not like playing Callista. It's not like Callista leveling up is my main win condition here. And I mean, yeah, sure. Um, you have like... What? Why? I mean, I don't think that was worth it, to be honest with you. I really don't. I... Really don't. If you ask me if that was worth it, I guess it wasn't. I guess... Nothing worth it about that. I guess I'm fine with that as well. I guess I'm playing Hakarim here and go for, and, and I go for an open attack next turn. I can finish him off with uh, Vile Feast in case, you know, he doesn't have anything else to buff his um, Sejuani, right? Okay. Now, I can do something more interest. I can do something very interesting now that I've got Blighted Caretaker. So I guess I'm gonna go for it. Guess I'm going for it. Okay, doesn't really matter all that much, but actually a little bit annoying. But it doesn't really matter all that much. You gotta drop something else. Okay. I mean, things are dying, and uh, eventually I'm gonna be getting my Deho Endure, so. Actually, fine. That's actually fine. Alright. Pretty much as soon as I get Deho Endure, I kind of win this, I guess. Like, he's going dangerously low. He's actually going dangerously low. Alright, it's not like this is my, you know, only way to kill your guy, so I don't really mind that as well. Alright, so that is dead. I'm gonna be taking a little bit of damage next turn, but I'm gonna be killing, um, I'm gonna be killing his Sejuani as well. I'm kind of being able to sustain myself quite decently, right? If he decides to freeze something here, I have a Ravenous Butcher. I have a Ravenous Butcher, I kind of have a lot of things here that I can do. Alright, so there's that guy. I guess I'm going for this. I'm kind of afraid, honestly, of another Reckoning. I'm not really gonna play anything here. I don't really need to. At least not now. Okay, now I kind of do. I can kill that guy if I want to. With, um, but uh, it doesn't really feel, it feels a little bit bad to kill that guy. So I'm going to be developing another one so I can block properly. Right? That's interesting. That's actually interesting. Okay. All right. If I get an Everglade Collector as well, I guess I kinda win the game. That's pretty much all I need, honestly. Like, the good the good part about this deck is that I kinda have um, ways to sustain myself. Alright, I guess Hakarim is also good. Problem is that he's probably gonna freeze it. But overall, I guess it's, it's a pretty, pretty good draw. Uh, yeah, okay, dude. So many freezes on this game, dude. I'm not. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna be able to level level up Hackerim. I just need him to not kill it. That's that's all I need. Don't kill my Hackerim. If 
But I mean, he got several things, right, that he can do, so... I'm gonna be doing this. There's five, I can still put this guy here. No, I can't. Oh, it's actually six. Okay. I'm gonna be buffing everything. Um, if he kills my Hecarim, it's gonna be... It's gonna feel pretty bad. Uh, but the... I mean, I gotta go for it. Gotta go for it. Maybe he didn't realize that I was going to level him up, so... That's that, right? Ugh, thank you. Damn. Hackerim, fellas, showing what he came for. That's Hackerim for you. Turning the tides off the games. That's it. That's it. Alright, so someone is playing a very aggressive deck. I mean, he's gonna be hitting my nexus every every single... Every single... You know... Every single turn. My nexus is gonna be hit. You know... Suffering. That's happening. That is happening for sure. You know, a lot of hitting. Not on this turn. This turn is not gonna hit my nexus, but on the other... On the next following turns nexus are going to be hit nexus are going to be hit you know blood is going to be shed i mean that's not really what i expected but i guess if you if you're going if you if you if you if you're, if you're going to go for that then um yeah i mean i expected myself to get shredded but not gonna complain you know complaining is not my thing <laughs> uh, who am i fooling okay <laughs> who am i actually fooling dude complaining is not my thing what, what the hell am i talking about um i feel like killing that thing instead of dropping Callista. honestly like it's looking like he he kind of depends on the plunder right from how you can look at his deck so if I can stop that, I'm gonna be solid. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be in a solid position. Because I've played this deck already. Um, it's actually good. It's actually a good deck. But it really rely on leveling those two up. And he's actually gonna do it. Interesting. Okay. I mean... Yeah. Alright. At least I made him use some resources. In order to do that, I'm gonna be playing Callista here, because worst case scenario, if I can't attack with her, I can develop. I can develop, and I can't attack with her. I can develop um, Haunted Relics and uh, forcefully level her up, which looks pretty good to me. And I honestly feel like attacking with her. Attacking with her. I honestly feel like it. Okay, so you got the same card as I did. I don't mind. I don't mind that. I'm gonna be doing this because he can't kill Callista, and uh, I'm gonna be killing his thing as well. So if he wants to kill Callista, it's gonna be only on the next following turn. If he doesn't block now, he's gonna go down to, to 11, and uh, that's not really a very comfortable, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it's not re really a, com a comfortable measure, right? HP measurement to be in against a they who endure and atrocity. Even more so when he's, you know, failing to level up his Sejuani, so he's not really gonna have a lot of freezes later down the line. Fury, so I can actually protect my Callista. This is actually looking pretty good, fellas. This is actually looking pretty good. I mean, if he commits into killing Callista, which he will try to, I'm not gonna let it happen. And uh, I'm gonna get a possibly a one cost <laughs> from Warden Spray. And, uh, and uh, yeah, um, oh, close enough. Okay, so there is Jack Butcher, and he actually got unlucky. He didn't hit um, the Nexus. He could have played a Warning Shot, though. I mean, buddy, now you can't. Um, I'm gonna be attacking first because of Sejuani. 
if you play Sejuani, I'm not going to be able to attack with Callista properly, so... Actually a little bit annoying. And I force some odd draws, uh, uh, some odd um, blocks from him, by doing it like this. And every time that I attack with Callista, I'm going to be going for a Shark Chariot. But, I'm not going to lie to you, I think I'm not really going to be attacking with Callista all that much anymore, because... The odds of him not having a Sejuani is actually very slim. I'm not gonna lie to you. Actually, slim. Do I go for this? I can... I can... I mean, I can do this. Um, proccing this guy, getting another follower down is actually pretty good for me. I'm gonna be doing this as well, so I can kill one unit. Right? For free. And uh, hopefully he's not going to kill my Callista because I'm going to be very happy if he doesn't. As I said, guys, um, Callista has a short life. I can actually afford to play Neverglade here, I guess. I'm going to be healing myself in a... Eh, you know, it's not like I can save Callista. None of my units has five attacks, so... I mean, yeah. And uh, if he decides to, you know, commit and kill the rest of my units, he is going to be going dangerously low on health. He didn't level up Sejuani yet, just yet. It's actually a very bad draw, honestly. I'm going to be attacking with him and uh, try to rely on Atrocity to win the game. Okay, what else? I mean, this is lethal. He may have a 1 damage for a Ravenous Butcher, but as far as I can remember, he probably doesn't. Um, back to Hearthstone, guys. I guess we are back to Hearthstone. Oh, we actually won. Alright. Alright. Very close, though. I got pissed. Not gonna lie to you, I got pissed. Oh, damn, that was very close. He got lucky as well. Ah, kind of lucky, right? But eh, if that's what his if that was his only plan, there's not much he could have done about it. So yeah, good game.